I'm going to explain how we get the formula for the area of a kite or a rhombus, and then we'll do some examples. So here we have a kite. Uh, so this diagonal has been bisected, so this, this I'll call X, this I'll call X, this Y, this Z. If we look at the upper triangle here, um, the upper triangle in blue, uh, half times base times side for a triangle. So half the base is 2X, the height is Y. And so that, that goes with this piece over here. Now the lower triangle, um, again, the base is going to be 2x. It's x plus x across, but the height is now z, so half times base times height, and we get this. Now what we can do is factor out a half times 2x, and we're left with y plus z. 2x is the length of one of the diagonals, y plus z is the other diagonal. And if there was for a rhombus, well, simply then y would be the same as z, that's the only difference. And so we have one half times one diagonal times the other, so half d1 times d2. That's our basic formula. So, here's a couple kites. All right, this one over here, uh, 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that means this would be 6 also. This becomes a 30, 60, 90. To go from the side opposite the 30 to the side opposite the 60, multiply by a radical 3. And this would be 6 over here as well. So it's 1 half. Diagonal 1, 6 plus 6 is 12. Diagonal 2, 6 plus 6 rad 3. And that's where we need the calculator. Down here, instead of angles, we bring up the Pythagorean theorem. Again, the right angle. Um, 7 squared plus x squared is 25. This would be 24. It's a Pythagorean triple. 7 squared plus x squared equals 25 squared. Um, to get this one here, it would be, if we call that one, say y, it's y squared plus 7 squared is 12 squared. And so y squared is 144 minus 49, which is radical 95 for y. So, so y is going to be rad 95. So now the area is 1 half diagonal 1. Well, this is 7 because it's split in half. So diagonal 1 is 14 times diagonal 2, which is radical 95 plus 24. And then you need your calculator. Okay, rhombus. Well, the rhombus is diagonals bisect each other. So this would be 10. This would be 6. 1 half times 20 times 12. Um, same idea here, but we need some Pythagorean theorem. So in this one, we need Pythagorean theorem. And that's a right angle. So this would be 5. Uh, 5 squared plus h squared, or x squared is 13 squared. This is 12. It's 5, 12, 13. Uh, Pythagorean triple. So we've got 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Um, this one, 30, 60, 90, because this is a right angle, so this would be 60. To go from the side opposite the 90 to the side opposite the 30, divide by 2. From 30 to 60, multiply by radical 3. So now this is 7, this is 7 round 3. So it's 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2, which is 14 round 3. That's 7 round 3 plus 7 round 3. 